Wait, Javi, remind me. When did we meet? When? Uh, <laughs> Do you remember? We met. I would say well, 2017. Okay. It was a dance floor. Actually, <laughs> no, <it's> literally a dance floor. Literally a dance floor. I don't remember this story. Okay, go on, go on. Where <laughs> were you guys? <laughs> it was a dance floor. Okay. Uh, so it was uh, your wife, April's okay. uh, graduation. Okay. Um, uh, I had heard about you um, through... Good things or bad things? <laughs> good things, good okay, things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> through my close friend, which is April's sister. Okay. And then she, I think she spoke to you. Mm-hmm. Then I saw you across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and we started shooting. <laughs> and then we started, we started dancing. <laughs> and then, yeah, no, we, did, we just ended up like being like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. And then we were talking. I was like, oh, like, you're the one who does uh, YouTube videos, blah, blah, blah. I'm an actor and I'm interested. And then you're like, oh, cool. Like, reach out to my assistant. Uh-huh. Sally or Sarah, something yeah. like that. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. Messing with yeah, you. Okay. yeah, yeah, I remember that. And I genuinely believed you had an assistant. And yeah. I was just like, oh, the, hi, Sarah. Like, nice to meet you. Here's my headshot. Here's my resume. Like, how yeah. I would do for a regular professional. And I was yeah, like, yeah. cool. I mean, I think you're not professional, but like, it was just like, <laughs> I sent it. And then after that, you reached out to me. And you're like, hey, let's do this video. Yeah. And it was a video on, uh, what are they called? The fidgets? The fidget, fidget spinners? Fidget spinners. Was that the video that we did with Laugh Over Life? Or yes. No? Was yes. that the that video yes it was that video that's right okay yeah cool. so that was like one of the first videos you were ever that in was for us. yeah the first video that i ever did okay yeah, yeah. I, re- I remember that yeah i do remember um my sister-in-law telling me about you yeah and she was like yeah my friend's an actor i want you to meet him yeah and then uh, i think that's when we were finally at the same place at the same yeah. time and then that's when we met at that party yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't really remember the yeah, dance no, floor yeah, part no, yeah. but uh, i'll take your word for it yeah. <laughs> You guys danced together. Yeah. Yeah, we danced together the whole night. What are you maybe. talking about? I, mean, I like dancing, so maybe, you know. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's when, that's when we met. And then from then on, after that shoot, you reached out to me and you're like, oh, hey, I'm starting a new um, web series, Mexican yeah. Survival Guide. Uh, would you be able to make it this day? And I said, oh, no, I yeah. can't. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. Let me tell that story about the, the beginning of Mexican Survival Guide and how you became Chris. Because fun fact, yeah. Javi was originally supposed to be you mm-hmm. yep yeah so chris chris was originally supposed to be ramon but okay so this is what happened i remember so we we got the show we got greenlit for the show so i was like okay i gotta get production going i gotta figure out the actors so immediately the first people i i, I thought about was javi so i was like okay he would be good uh, he was in our videos before i filmed with him i thought he was a cool guy so i was like all right that's an actor right there and then i thought brandon right brandon our original guy that the original ramon and uh, so I was like, okay, these guys are perfect. But I originally wanted Brandon to be the Chris character. And then I wanted Javi to be the Brandon slash Ramon character. <laughs> yeah. So that was the original cast that I wanted to be, right? And then I call Javi. I tell him, like, yo, you down to be in the video? You down to be in the series? And Javi, of course, said yes. And then, yeah, you said that I guess you were busy, right? Yeah, I couldn't do the first shoot. I think I was film, uh, doing a, sh- a theater show, actually. Got it. Okay, so you, you had some prior arrangements. So I was like, but I had to film, like, because I had to film and get a video out for the contract. Like, are, we are contractually obligated to release, like, oh. one video a week. So I had to film something. So I was like, okay, so for this first episode, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to be in the video, and I'm going to have to have Brandon be in the video. So I was like... I can't be the one that's, uh, you know, like teaches the, the Mexican culture. It didn't make sense. So I was like, okay, so I'll be the Chris character for episode one. So if you watch our very first episode of Mexican Survival Guide, which <laughs> yeah. is the Chancla episode, right? The Chancla episode, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the very first episode of Mexican Survival Guide. I'm the Chris character, the original Chris character. <laughs> Brandon is Brandon. So he's yeah. the one teaching me about Mexican culture. <laughs> And so, yeah, so we'd film that episode. Um, Everything goes smooth. You know, it's a great video. We release it. And then then Javi comes in next week, right? (laughs) So you come in the following week to actually, you know, start filming with us for Mexican Survival Guy. And then I had to take myself out. So then (laughs) I just plugged you in where I was. So Javi became my character, which was the Chris character. Yeah, and so that's how Javi became the Chris character. <laughs> so by complete, you know, I guess fate. Yeah, you became Chris. Yeah, it's that, crazy. Yeah, no, that's pretty insane yeah, when you think no, about. It. Yeah. You could have been the I, Ramon. I could have been Ramon. You yeah. could have been the one teaching about Mexican culture. You could have been a better Ramon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you could have been the Ramon that actually remember remembered his lines. <laughs> I love mayonnaise, all right? <laughs> you, you, love, you love mayonnaise. There you go. Yeah, think about it. Had you become Ramon, you know, yeah. the Ramon character, he would have been Chris 
acting Imagine? like ditzy or whatever, you know? Oh my god. I'm pretty good at acting like that. <laughs> <laughs> but acting the time. Honestly, I think it worked out for the better because I think you yeah. do a great job oh, at the Chris thank character. You. So thank you I, sell it. Uh, yeah, thank yeah, for you. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. It's been seven years now. Is this? I think so. 2017? No, wait, seven years, six years? Yeah, six yes. years. Oh, six years, yeah. Yes, yeah, because we started Mexican Survival yes. Guide in 2017. Yeah, so we've been working together for a while. That is a long time. Yeah. That is a long time. How old am I now? So y- y- y'all met me when I was in 21. When I was 21. Wow. Yeah. It's a long time. Sc- I scouted you. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> scouted me. Yeah, right when I was barely legal yeah. of drinking age. <laughs> so so let, let's let's talk about Mexican Survival Guide. So yes. I called you up. What, what did you think about it when I told you about Mexican Survival Guide? Um, well, I was like, heck yeah, let me, I'm down. I, yeah. I think I didn't really like, I was just like, oh, let me, I didn't really know where I was going to go. Uh-huh. And I was like, heck yeah. And then it ended up being a lot of fun. No, we filmed every, I mean, it was gonna, it was hard. Yeah, it was filming, hard. Filming every week was hard, Jesus. Yeah. Um, but no, I think it was a great experience. I mean, mm-hmm. I remember my first video and like looking back at it and then just like seeing, I, I would blink a lot and like just seeing, mm-hmm. like it was such a great learning experience uh-huh. for me I just as an actor because it was just like seeing all my little I guess ticks or whatever they're called mm-hmm. um and then just like working with you guys was a freaking blast like oh it was always laughing um and which is I mean kind yeah. of a little difficult because we were trying to get work done and yeah. all that stuff yeah, uh, it was a good time. In, the, in the beginning and all yeah. that stuff um but yeah no it was really cool would you say it like helped you along your like acting journey oh heck yes in, like what way heck yes i think in the way of just like um because we would film like um line per line um i think uh, this is probably like nerd actor nerd talk but like just like um being able to play with like each like my line whether it was just like uh hey Ramon, let's go to the store to like like a very basic that like basic oh whatever that to like hey Ramon. Let's go to the store and just like mm. being able to like switch the way I say the line like mm-hmm. consistently after shot, after shot, after shot, after shot. So I think that's benefited me as an actor where it's just like, okay, let's try it this way. Let's try it this way. Let's try it this way. So, yeah. Yeah, no, that was a great learning lesson for me too. Like just learning how to direct because before that, essentially the only people that were in the videos were like me and Ramon. Yeah. That's it. That was our whole our whole crew. So there wasn't really much directing going on. I mean, there was, like, I would direct Ramon, but, like, you know, it was still it's me or Ramon. No, yeah, 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 yeah. There wasn't really much, you know, to direct. But there, we had, like, a crew, right? I mean, it was a small crew, but it was still a crew, right? It was me as the director and camera op, and then we had you, and then Brandon, and then we had April, who was doing our audio. Yeah, oh, my God, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. operation. So Dang. OG. Yeah, yeah literally. We, we had a nice little crew. Yeah. And uh, But I had to, like, direct everyone to make sure that we're on task and, you know, getting the shots and all that. So it was definitely kind of got thrown into the whole film world. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, you yeah, literally went straight into it. Yeah, it, it was fun, though. It was fun. How, how was it um, transitioning from Brandon to Ramon? Oh, with, be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, what was your first thoughts when Ramon came on? So um, for context, everyone, Brandon, so around like episode was like 23 or so, Brandon decided, you know, he didn't want to do the Mexican survival guide anymore. He just wanted to focus on other things. So then uh, I was like, oh, dang, I need a new, you know, Brandon. So then I was like, okay, I'll just bring Ramon. He'll be the new Brandon. And then, uh, yeah, what, what was your thoughts when I told you that? <laughs> so I don't know. Do you remember the first time you met me? I think when we were filming, no? Or no. So no? you you actually met me when I was 14. What? <laughs> <laughs> so another fun fact. Okay, wait, wait, what? What? I want to hear this story. Okay, I don't okay. know the story. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Ramon, I, I think, so you were, he was friends with uh, my sister's, like one of her close friends and all that stuff. And then I remember once I was like 14, I was like freshman in high school and all that stuff. And then she had a little party. She had friends over. And I remember you came in. And then it was, Car- do you know Carlos? <laughs> yes. Carlos, yeah. You came with Carlos and you guys came and then we, uh, we ate pizza. And then that's where I met you. You're like, you introduced yourself and all that stuff. And that's when I first met you. I do not oh, remember so- yeah. that at all. <laughs> yeah. So you, you ca- literally came to my house. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. So wow. And then I also like know because you knew April's sister, right? Yes. You also knew my sister. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I'm actually, yeah, yeah no, uh, actually one of my best friends is your sister. Yeah. But I met her, I think, it, no, it was my sophomore year of high school. Mm. Um, I think it was the summer of, it was, uh, what is it called? Oh, 
was like peer, peer, uh, summer school PE and all that stuff. Okay. We ended up meeting and then I had swim class and then we just ended up like hitting it off. Like we never had a class together, but then we'd like hang out uh, like during PE, <laughs> especially like during swim. It was very funny, but like that's for another time. Um, but yeah, no. So I happen to know your sister. And then because of this, going back to the uh, what you had asked, uh, I was excited to meet you because I was like, oh, I've heard about this guy. So many things about this guy. And I met this guy when I was 14. I want to see how he is like working, <laughs> working with. <laughs> so, wait, wait, so did you hear good things about him? Bad things? I, uh, both? Yeah, a, little, a, little, a little bit of both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear the bad a things. A little bit of or the bad things. <laughs> just like you to like mess around a lot and all that stuff. Yeah. So I it's like just joking like, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jo- jo- a lot of joking around. A lot of joking around. I still joke around. So that's pretty, like, but yeah, no, I mean, and then when I met you, I mean, it was amazing. And you, you joked around. And then, <laughs> yeah. we, we, um, it was, I mean, shoots took a little longer, not going to lie, because yeah. we'd mess around a lot and all that stuff in the lines and i will say brandon's a better actor than i know i'll admit it i'll admit it brandon is a very good actor he's good he's He's able to like like you tell him a line he could get it down on like the first take yeah no no, he he was really yeah you guys are very very talented thank you thank thank you you know you're very talented too yeah i try but this Uh, is about you (laughs) (laughs) no but but yeah and then after that we ended up uh meeting and then working and then yeah no it was a great experience and then we still work together and it's fun every time i see you oh no for sure i remember when i met you because like yeah i heard like you were an actor the theater and then i was like well i just make these videos i was (laughs) like i feel like you know like i'm not that experienced you know and then uh, hearing you like recite your lines all perfect and then i'm like stuttering with my lines (laughs) a little intimidating but i was like but then you'd always give me pointers too you're like oh try this and this and then Naya, like you, you helped me out a lot too. Thanks. Yeah, no, I mean, you, you're, I mean, you're a quick learner, and I mean, mm. yeah, you're quick. <laughs> <laughs> you're a learner. You're a learner. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. Let's let's talk about the funny moments of Exca Survival Guy. Oh we have so my many funny God. moments. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite one. Wh- wh- what episode was it? When Which like one? he went backwards. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, like he broke wait. his back or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when um we. <laughs> We were doing a shot where I was filming and I wanted the shot. It was like a POV and I was like falling back. So it was like the person is supposed to be like passing out. So then like I needed you guys behind me to catch me. So I'm like holding the camera and then I fall all the way back. And then Javi's the person. So we had like three people. It was like me and it was like, I forgot who it was. Someone behind me, probably April. And then Ramon behind April and then Javi behind Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> we had like a stack of people all that were just supposed to hold me up. I wasn't supposed to fall all the way down. <laughs> And it, uh, we, yeah, we fall down, and all of us fall down, and Javi's on the bottom of the whole pile, <laughs> crushed, <laughs> and his legs just completely fold behind him. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah. I'm a bit flexible, so yeah. <laughs> thank God. That's thank when God. we found out you were very yeah, yeah, flexible. Like, oh, okay, but no, yeah. that, that was insane. Yeah, yeah no, that was a lot of fun. I would say my fa- I'm between two. Okay, so I would say there was the moment with the with the cactus. Yes, the, the no, no, with the no pile. Yes, the no, that's one of the my no favorite yes. Oh my god! Okay, we're talking you, about like, that. Talk about what, what happened with it? I remember uh, we were just practicing cutting. Uh, it was a shot of you cutting the nopal. Yes, yeah. and then uh, Anthony, you said stop if if you're not gonna go. Like, what do you say? I no, like, so he was supposed. Ramon was supposed to cut it a specific way, like yeah. a very specific way for the shot. Yeah, and I told him I was like, if you're not, if you don't. Because we didn't have that many Nopales with us. Yeah, 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 I mean, we're, you know, we're, uh, we're, uh, what's the, what's the word? Um, like, you know, we don't have that, a big budget, right? Yeah, we can't be going budget, out yeah. buying a whole bunch of Nopales, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. we got <laughs> words what we got. So I was like, hey, if you, Ramon, when you're cutting in for the shot, if you don't have it, like, just stop. And when I say stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. So Ramon's cutting it, and immediately as he was cutting, I was like, oh, he's not cutting it right. So I was like, I, I immediately yeah. I was like, stop, stop, stop. And then Ramon, <laughs> for some reason, something in his head, like he was going, going, and it, he just went all the way. <laughs> all the way. And it wasn't a cut. It was like a diagonal <laughs> cut and all that stuff. And it, it was, was a, a terrible <laughs> cut. It was impressive. <laughs> it was impressive. <laughs> but it was the fact that I told Ramon, I said, stop, stop, stop. stop, stop. And he just kept going. <laughs> I mean, it's because... In my defense, you also said to like just commit and do it. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. I mean, commit if you're doing it right. Yeah, yeah. Commit to stopping. That's what you should do. I tried my best. But like yeah. when the director tells you to stop, yeah, you so stop, stop, dude. I was method acting. So, so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Something I, just clicked in you. You're just yeah. like, oh, yeah. attack. I, blacked, attack. I blacked out. Yeah, I yeah. remember. I was like, bro, why would you do yeah. that? <laughs> 
<laughs> we were all laughing. Oh, I was god. upset, but we were still uh, laughing. I but, uh, cried of laughter. No, yeah. Oh That's, my uh, god! I, I do a lot of dumb things. No, so, <laughs> speaking speaking of blacking out, my second moment was we were doing a chunkla video. I think it was a chunkla number oh, two. I, I know what you're about to talk oh, about. Oh <laughs> my god! And there was a moment where I'm getting trained to like, oh, like, oh, like yeah. how to uh, dodge a chunkla and all that yeah. stuff. Well, Chris is and all that stuff. And I remember being put up against the wall. <laughs> and then, yeah, so, you you yeah. were like your your two hands were against hands the wall, wall yeah. <laughs> and he was supposed to like hit, like hit me, like like you know like pretend hit me like softly and all that stuff yeah. and all. That. But he blacked out and just went <laughs> oh, the, sa- the same exact thing. Like, he blacked like, out again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> went, why? Why can I just remember being like, ah, like, <laughs> no, yeah, genuinely yeah, rage? Yeah, like just, no, it was the same thing. <laughs> I remember he was hitting you. Like he hit you like a couple of times. Yeah. I was like okay, cool, got the shot. And then I was like, all right, I was like cut. <laughs> cut. And then. He kept going. I was yeah. like, cut. And he kept going. I was like, cut. Remote cut. <laughs> and, I like, oh. and I stopped at the phone. I was like, oh my God. It was just. It was I was rough. like, remote, remote. Yeah. Like, you blacked out. Like, your remote just wanted to whip you. Yeah, I went, you I went whipped in. Me. You whipped me. I went in. I'm sorry. Oh, I, that's I, okay. To this day, I still feel bad. I know. Because I, like, I think, if I recall correctly, too, I wasn't selling the shot. Like, I think yeah. I was like kind of barely hitting you. And yeah. you're like, Sell, they're like sell it, but not. Yeah, but not yeah, you. Yeah, no, yeah. And I was like, "There's only <laughs> one way to sell it." <laughs> said, I'm I'm sell sell this this shot. Shot. They want the shot. I'll give them the shot. <laughs> said, you want to give me notes? You want to give me notes? <laughs> I think what it is, Ramon. I think you just like when you're acting, like you're acting. You man, act. You get into character. I, I, I think I have to be like. Yeah. This is like. <laughs> I, I'm, I just need to be focused. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah, a method yeah. actor. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I am. Yeah, you're method. <laughs> so when I say cut, like it's just like it goes in one ear out the other. <laughs> I'm not recording. You know, I'm just <laughs> living. You're living life. I am yeah, the character. You are the character. But no, yeah, that I, I still feel bad. So, yeah. how's your back? My back is, you know, I can't dance anymore. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> no, no. I'm pretty sure we probably good, yeah. still have like um like a blooper from that. I hope oh, yeah. we do. I'm sure we do. Oh my god. That'd be nice to I'm see. So, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. <laughs> that was Great hilarious. memories, though. That you know? was. Yeah. Wait, hey, do you guys remember? Well, I'm pretty sure it was with you, Ramon, when uh, we were filming out in like, that forest area and we saw a tarantula. Oh, do you remember yes, that? Yes, 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 yes. No, or was that not with you? Maybe that was not. Well, that, I, I think that was, I think that was like <laughs> a, <laughs> some scary Halloween video. Like, oh, okay. So it was a Mexican survival. I think it was Mexican survival. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. There's always something that happens. But yeah, that time we just saw, I swear, this size just. Yeah, we're a filming. Giant tarantula yeah, we're just filming. coming we just towards see a us. Big tarantula no, walking. No, 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 no. Oh, I would have lost was, my mind. It was scary, man. I no, think yeah, that's the yeah. first time I probably ever saw a tarantula in real life. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. Now that you're saying that, yeah. My dad's brought some home before, so <laughs> I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad just brings tarantulas. So home? he 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 used to work in like the desert, and he said like. I don't know what time of year, but I guess tarantula just come out. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So he just would pull over to the side of the road, scoop them up, and just put them what? in a box. And it, are, are they like pretty common? I I don't know how common they are, but I think in the desert they are. Because hmm. we were like in some little tree desert area. Oh wow! I think the, I could be wrong. I think they live like underground. So I think they come out like oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. But yeah, my. My dad brought some home, and then my mom got mad, and then he just stopped. <laughs> yeah. So, but I have seen a tarantula before. And oh, what would you guys do with them? I don't know what he wanted to do with them because, like, he, he just <laughs> showed me, and I was like, 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 like "I have like, no yeah, idea." Here you go, kids. <laughs> have that, no dogs, You're but yeah, in your backyard or something, dude. Maybe yeah, there you go. Yeah, what if Maybe. they're still there? They're bigger now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, you have little dogs, so. Oh, no, yeah. I don't know if they eat the little dogs. What, what, do, what do tarantulas eat? Probably uh, little insects, I'd well, imagine. Human. Oh, human. Yeah, they they eat human. human. They eat human. They probably do. They, they look well, like they, they do. do. They YouTubers, specifically. Do. Specifically YouTubers. What? And this is where we ring one out. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now are you going to eat a tarantula, eat a tarantula for this thing? Yeah. <laughs> has they, there, like, you filmed with us, but has yeah. there been, like, moments like that where someone blacks out and just continues to do whatever like in some other shoots like not with us Javi's like no no, no. <laughs> they always like, listen I, to the director no yeah have I been your worst experience that. that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> getting beat yes okay oh well, well, <laughs> sorry that's, I don't know what, what that was but yeah no uh, on set yes that was probably the, the, the most hurt I got yeah <laughs> Did Sorry. it hurt? Do you remember if it actually oh, hurt? Oh, it hurt. No, yeah. I remember it hurt. Like, like he was genuinely hitting no, me. No, he was you were genuinely hitting me. Yeah, I I, 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 I remember my, my swings were nice. You know, they were. And I remember it was like good 
Like, it, it, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why I said stop, dude. Yeah, like, no, I, know, like, like, I was just like, ah. Like, that wasn't even acting on my part. That was like literally <laughs> being hit. And I was just like, I wanted to stop. I, I wonder if we used the shot of Ramon, like, actually hitting you, know, or if right? I used, like, the previous <laughs> takes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I want to see now. Yeah, I'm very curious. <laughs> How is it, uh, like, the difference between filming with us versus, like, filming with, uh, like, other film crews? Other crews. Pro professional. Yeah, yeah professional. real professional. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm trying to think. Do you think it's, uh, like, do you feel like we're, uh, like, very guerrilla style, like, less professional? I would say the only difference really is the way of, like, shooting. Um, I mean, because I would say, like, when I've shot with you guys, um, it's just the line memorization. That's pretty okay. much. That's the only thing that really separates you guys, is that uh, I mean, we come on the day like when we're uh, the actor, we just come on set with the lines memorized. Oh, I see. Like, because you get the script beforehand. beforehand. Usually, that's how yeah, you're supposed no, to. No, usually get it beforehand. But so, now with this, so with, yeah, now now with this, you know, it's the day of, and it's just like, okay, cool. Yeah. And then like the shooting style is yeah, yeah. where we shoot line by line. Yeah. Whereas like in film, it's like uh, you trust the actor, and then I mean because that's their one job. Yeah. Is yeah. To mm -hmm. focus on that, so then they just do the whole shot recording the actor, and they just mm -hmm. do the whole dialogue with the other actor, and then uh. after that they switch shots do the whole dialogue and that's pretty much it yeah so yeah. is it like what just one take essentially for real acting uh, so like it'd be yeah well that'd be that that would be one take doing the whole scene at once and that's mm -hmm. the only time like that's one take then you would do if you want to do it again if the let's say the director's like oh, i don't like the way you said that line can you try it this way um then you would do it again and then the actor would memorize like okay that's the part where i have to change that line mm -hmm. and then yeah. they might throw in something else they do it like three or four times or whenever the the director's like oh you know what if we cut all these in a specific way, it'll make sense and it'll all like it'll all flow. And like also the job of an actor, and you also have someone on set, excuse me, um, that their job is to memorize like, oh, what hand did the actor lift the the cup with? Mm. For the continuity, so that's for the, always a continuity. Ah, There's see. usually someone on set for that. Or it's the job of the actor. To, I mean, it's also the job yeah. of the actor to yeah. memorize all that stuff. So, Well, honestly, the only reason I always gave you the script the day of, yeah. the main reason is because I literally would finish the script <laughs> the morning of. Like, I would be finishing because yeah. I would write the script like the night before yeah. and then I would finish up like the morning of. Yeah. And then that's like one of the main reasons yeah. I didn't give it to you ahead that's of time. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, we all I'd give the script. Like, all right, this is what yeah. we're filming, Javi. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the cool thing is I learned how to, I, mean, I think it really helped my short-term memory. And I mean, mm. I mean, it's also like I think a great exercise for you guys. I mean, you guys would keep like uh, shooting out scripts. Where like I mean, it's very rare for people to, for people to be writing scripts like that, especially in professionally. I think that's one of the things that I've realized working in Hollywood is just like uh, like that consistency is very rare to find. Of course, like in big networks, you see that, but like common people, like yeah. actors and all that stuff, they would want to be you guys in yeah. that aspect mm. i think because so. uh in the youtube world you had, you had to be very scrappy and yeah. then as a result you had to do things like that yeah so oh, for sure which i think it's, is very admirable because i mean i think like actors want to do that but they never like i mean not mm -hmm. never but like it's it just i think it's that that because we're in the craft of being an actor and all that stuff we're like it has to be perfect it has to be perfect mm -hmm. and I've, i'm guilty of this with my own projects mm -hmm. where i'm like it that because I work, I focus so much on perfection that it never gets done, mm -hmm. um, or it just takes too long, or I run out of resources and all that stuff, or just that tends to be a thing yeah. I've noticed with actors um, in general. For me, that's the thing with YouTube. You just have to do it. You Which, know, you just have to get it done. Yeah. If you if you wait for perfection, it's you're never gonna get it. Yeah. You know, and then you're not yeah. gonna drop a project, a video, and then yeah. that's it. So like with us, we just always like. We got to make it happen. We got to yeah. just make it work. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why uh, the early days of Mexican Survival Guide were one of my favorites because we were on it hard, yeah. man. Like we, really would, we would film and literally right after, directly after, I would yeah. start editing. Yeah. You'd, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm like, like, all right, guys, I'm done. We got it. We're, we're wrapped you, up. I got to go upstairs. to the computer. <laughs> yeah, I got to start editing because yeah. we would film on like a Saturday and then I would, I, it would have to release like the following day yeah. like sunday yeah and then so yeah i would immediately immediately after filming i go to my laptop and start editing and dump the footage and start the Dang. editing process i would edit all through the night so i'd finish like you know like middle of the night like four or five a.m <sighs> and then uh yeah export it and then upload it in the morning 
Dang. Yeah, and that, so the early days of uh, Mexican Survival Guide were rough. War. And, and <laughs> literally. Yeah, it is war, yeah. Yeah, like sure. you're literally in the trenches, dang. Yeah, <laughs> but it was fun, though. It was yeah, fun. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I got through yeah. it. I got through it. Yeah. But, dang. Uh, but I mean, that's, I feel like that's what made the show so great is because, yeah. like, at that time for Mexican Survival Guide, when we're the early days of Mexican Survival Guide, that's all I was focused on. Yeah. Like, I was just focused on getting Mexican Survival Guide out. Yeah. So um, it was my life. That's all I thought dang. about. Literally, uh, yeah. dang. So you, oh, you lived with and breathed it. Yeah, all yeah, the for time. sure. Yeah, especially editing and all stuff. Yeah, yeah. Writing the Writing, script and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dang. It's a lot. And then Oof. I was contractually obligated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, yeah, yeah. Couldn't, <laughs> I didn't not, have an option. Yeah, yeah, you had no option. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I had to do what I had to do, but you know, ended dang, up yeah. working out in the end. And yeah. now we're what 70, 80 episodes in. I think so, yeah. Something like yeah, that, I'm right? still going. Wait, what's your guys' favorite Mexican Survival Guide video? Ooh. Out of curiosity. Oh, that's a great question. Hmm. The Chorizo one. I love the okay, Chorizo yeah, one. So, yeah, that's, 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 that's the one where I'm flying all the Chorizo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite one. I completely one. forgot about that yeah, one. Oh, my that, God. That, one, that one's awesome. That's one of my oh favorites. My God. Oh, wait, I have two. I have two. Okay, so that's one of them. I love the Chorizo episode because the animation, I thought yeah. it was fun. Like, looking <laughs> back at it, I just think it's an awesome video. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's funny. And it's cool. And uh, we put a lot of effort into that. Yeah. So I think it was great. Uh, but my second favorite is the Asando Chile episode. That one's my, that yeah, one's, that one's my favorite. Cool. That, that one was fun. Because we filled up the whole house with smoke. Yeah. And um, it was just like a cool sequence that we did. I think the idea was well written. I yeah. just think it was well executed. And just everything, the whole nine was great. Yeah. So that's, I, that's a good one too. What about you guys? What's your favorite episode? I would say my favorite would be Asando El Chile. Okay. That one, that one's just for like the like the consu- like consuming the audience from that perspective. But my fun one, just I mean, it wasn't a fun experience recording, but fun looking back now was the paletas because it was a mm. thousand degrees oh, outside. Yes. I just remember all of us like getting sunburned here throughout the video back here. It was all of us hot. That day was hot. Oh my God. It was like, I remember just like, that one was rough. But Do you then, remember like, yeah. um, April? You, she would have to run the, the what's it called? The ice cream yeah. back and forth. Because we yeah. had the ice cream at home in the freezer. And when we were ready for for the shot, she would run home, grab the ice cream from the freezer, and yeah. bring it back to yeah. us. And then we would take the take, and then she would do that. Like, she was doing yeah. that all day. That's crazy. I forgot about that, the yeah. running aspect. Oh, but no, yeah. That one was rough. But yeah. I just remember that one, like, looking back. I'm like, that one was a fun one. It was fun. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. A, a lot of the videos is, like, at the time, it was so hard to film. Yeah. But then looking back at it, you're like, ah. I feel yeah. accomplished, like, you know? It's a good we, memory. We yeah, it's a good memory. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It was yeah. worth it. Like, yeah. You put in all this work, you know, and then... Yeah. It comes out good. For yeah. me, it came out great. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. that was a really yeah, good one. Seeing yeah. the finished product is probably like the best part of filming. Yeah, no, and, definitely. Uh, yeah. I'd say the food too. The food, yeah. The food, yeah. The food oh, you yeah. know, because all the, the all the food we eat. The food we eat, like but what was during break? <laughs> during, I'm always oh, holding yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. No, you really are. <laughs> <laughs> My, I really like the chorizo one too, just because, okay. I mean, the yeah. animation is just, the story, the animation is just, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. But, yeah, that one, and I guess where where I beat you. Where you? <laughs> <laughs> where you beat? Wait, what exactly. episode was that? Anyways, I think was it was a chancla. Oh, is yeah, that yeah, chancla redo? Chancla, 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 I think it might have been chancla it training. Have. It was I think it was a part two. It might have been like a redo because we redo, started redo. we started remaking the was, first episodes. I might. I, I, I want to yeah. say yeah. So yeah. There's a possibility it was a redo. That's true. That's true. No, because yeah, the first episode. Yeah, the first episode was him training him how to deal with yeah. the chancla. So it was a redo. That, yeah. That's when it was me and Brandon. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, no, it was the redo of that one. Bang. Yeah, the Mexican survival guide lore, man. That's yeah, crazy. exactly. It's yeah, been long, it's been doing it for a long time. No, yeah, no yeah. I always find it like funny, like the the stories we've made, like uh, throughout, like just random little things, like about like Chris's history, like his mom's in jail. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we like, have yeah, these yeah, little yeah. side stories yeah, little that like we just <laughs> we kind of throw to the audience that we make yeah, up as we go. Like, literally, and it's on the spot and all <laughs> yeah. this stuff, and then like in the back of my head, I'm like, oh my. I'm like, keep that. His mom's in jail. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. got out. You know, like he's with his grandma all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, he, so. His whole family loves mayonnaise. Yeah, they all love <laughs> mayonnaise. A lineage of recipes, just so yeah, all yeah, yeah, mayonnaise. Yeah. Great stuff. granny's recipe. Yeah, great granny's <laughs> uncle and all. It's, yeah. it's a very interesting character when you think about it. Very like, interesting. Very weird. <laughs> very weird. You see, he's he's very weird. But I mean, been with him for several years now. How, how, how do you guy. feel about I guess being Chris? Being to the Chris. audience, like, pe- do you, like do being you, known as Chris. Yeah, do people ever like recognize you as Chris? They're like, oh, that's Chris, and not Hobby. Yeah, no, uh, yes, uh, quite often. 
And I think the, the sad part is when they're like, oh, you're like, I've been asked like three times, like, are you really that stupid? And I'm like, oh my <laughs> God. Oh my God. Who asked that? Yeah. And I'm Bro, just what like, a question yeah, to ask someone. Yeah, I know. I'm like, How about nice to meet you? Like, nice to meet you. <laughs> and like, first it's like, oh, like, do you do YouTube? And I'm like, yeah. And then uh, then they would lead with that. And I'm like, ouch. Like, and then I'd be like, no, like, I'm, I'm actually pretty smart. Like, yeah. I, I go to school. Like, I, I should, it's it's yeah. funny because you're nothing like the Chris no, character know, at nothing. all. Nothing. I'm yeah. gonna have my quirky, my little dumb moments, but like, yeah, no, I mean, I'm pretty educated, I yeah. guess. <laughs> I would say you're very cultured. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and he, you speak Spanish. I speak Spanish. You, yeah. well, you know Portuguese? Yeah, yeah, a little bit of Portuguese. You know Mexican yeah. culture, like the back of your head. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, that's why I wanted you originally yeah, as you know the, the yeah. Ramona Brandy <laughs> character, but uh, you just didn't yeah. end up working it out. Destiny. I think yeah. it was a little humbling lesson for me to like learn. So yeah, no, but I love being Chris. I mean. I think, and it's funny because like when I've like booked some roles and all that stuff, there's uh, been roles that I've had where it has like a hint of like Chris. Like I did uh, mm. this Lifetime uh, movie. It was like a small little part in Lifetime. And my character was very Chris-like, very, he was like a, a student, uh, like nurse, whatever. And then he went to like this house and he's like trying to like interview for this position. And then he's like dropping things he's like, oh yeah, no, like, I'm so sorry. Like, uh, like just like that, that craziness and that, that like, um, nervousness of, of Chris. And it's mm -hmm. just, it's very cute to see, uh, Chris in other roles that I do, so. Yeah I, yeah, I love Chris. He, he's funny. Yeah. He's a funny character. I wish I was Chris. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> some, some, sometimes I mix your real name up with yeah, Chris. Because oh, yeah, I'm do. so used to like, calling you Chris, Chris when we Chris. film. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, Chris, I, I mean, obviously. Like, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're Chris to me, dude. I'm like, Chris, yeah. So I don't blame other people for thinking yeah, that you're no, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Chris on social media, yeah. No, even when I do like, like uh, TikTok lives. And all that stuff, people are just like, oh, like Chris, Chris, yeah. Chris. And I'm like, my, my, it says my name there. My name's Javi. <laughs> my name's Javi. I mean, if you think about it, we have like millions of views across yeah. all the videos. So that's like yeah. millions of people that know you as Chris, yeah. <laughs> not as Javi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so yeah. So yeah, I guess that, I mean, it makes sense. You are known for loving mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> the world knows you for, <laughs> for loving, loving mayonnaise. mayonnaise. I yes. wonder where that came from because I don't think that was like in the original episodes. I think like over time, like it really we, did. Yeah. It, we developed the mayonnaise I aspect of it. You're like, I think what you saying, like, oh, we did something weird. Mayonnaise. You like mayonnaise? <laughs> like, yeah. Literally just something like spot. that. Yeah, yeah. On the spot. Yeah. That's how like all the whole Me Mexican survival guide lore is just we made it up on the spot. Yeah. Everything, every yeah, single thing, like true. your character, you know, your hobbies or Chris's character, yeah. just everything was like made up on the spot for the most part. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's what makes it fun. We've yeah. Been making no, stuff up for years now. I'm, I know, sure, yes. I'm sure we have the storylines messed up. I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure if you watch every single Mexican survival guide episode, I'm sure we messed up the storyline somehow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like we probably messed up names or something yeah. like the name of your mom. I don't know if we ever said the name of your mom. Oh but no, maybe no. we have. I mean, weren't you your mom once? And then your mom was your your your, <laughs> yeah, your legal yeah, mom was your actual mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like yeah, no. So it all yeah. I'm my own mother. <laughs> You're your own mother. You birthed yourself, God. Well, I think that's why I like Mexican Survival God is that like each episode could stand on its own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you yeah. don't necessarily need to watch the other episodes to understand that specific episode of yeah. Mexican Survival God that you're watching. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can just jump in, watch this one episode, and completely understand yeah. what it's about. Yeah. But if you watch everything, then you get a little more context. Yes. That's true. And then you I mean you learn a lot of things. I mean, there's some things that we've all learned from that, like. Mm -hmm. Whole, I think every episode I've learned something. <laughs> like, yeah. no, honestly, because we have to like research. Yeah, we yeah. have to like a lot like, of research. A lot of research because we're like we're telling we're pretty much educating people. Yeah. on Mexican culture. Yeah, and I'll be honest, I don't know everything about yeah. my own culture. Which, yeah. I mean, it's not a bad thing. But yeah. as long as I learn about it and be respectful, yeah, and I try to tell people like the yeah. best that I know. So every episode I had to do a lot of research. Yeah. Gotta look it up because we don't want to tell the people like. Something well, that's it not. It has to be accurate. You yeah. can't yeah, yeah, teach yeah. people if it's not accurate. Like, yeah, like, yeah, we're yeah, just going to yeah, teach yeah, people yeah, lies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like piñatas like coming from China? Yeah. Like that yeah. Was, like, was just like, oh. Like, yeah, like, I didn't oh, know that. Origins, origins. I was like, oh, dang. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, China did a lot of things for the world. That's true. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. But um, I, I think that's I think that's the best part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that we get to teach people about Mexican culture and we get to learn at the same time. Yes. No, yeah. That's the whole world. Yeah. And eat great food sometimes. Oh, yeah. And just hold Food oh no! You held carne asada yeah. for like five hours of a shoe <laughs> just on one hand. 
I'm, you, I'm pretty sure there's a record. Like, yeah, no, was, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You know, a lot of uh, teachers actually use our videos to like show in classes. Really? Like, we get messages mm-hmm. all the time of people saying like, oh, I, I watched this show, like this series yeah. in my class, in my Spanish class. Really? Oh, yeah. so I was hoping Spanish. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, it's no, like, it, I mean, it's good stuff. Yeah, no. It's I mean, that's actually true. Family friendly. We don't cuss. Yeah. Like, we just teach Mexican culture. Fun fact. Uh, there was actually one of my friends. She's a, med- she, a medical. St- well, now she's a, a, a nurse and all that stuff. But in her medical school, they would use some gifts from from Mexican survival guide of our characters being like, oh, like my stomach hurts for like uh, medical issues and all that wow. stuff. So I was just like, wow, like we're even in the medical field. That's so awesome. like, <laughs> educating. I want my doctor's degree. I know exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm a doctor. Call me doctor. I know, <laughs> literally. The doctors of today were built because of us. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> yeah. Built on the back of YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, back of the YouTubers. I, I yeah. think that's a bad thing. No, 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 that's okay. Well, we respect you. We love you guys. <laughs> yeah, we really do. No, I think it's Read bad that books. they learned from us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, Learn from books, not us. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. <laughs> Dang, yeah, but. So, like, the other day, I was at the mall. I got recognized, not for just the YouTube. Yeah. He literally said, you're from Mexican Survival Guide. And I was really? like. And that just feels good. No, it's, it's very nice. I get a little, like, I, I know, like, every time, like, someone's like, oh, like, a YouTuber, I get, like, a little, uh, like, oh, hi. Mm-hmm. I get, like, a little nervous. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Like, oh, thank you for watching. You're so mm-hmm. sweet. I mean, because, I mean, the viewers so sweet for, for watching and, like, supporting us and everything that we do. It's really humbling. Yeah, no, for sure. I I mean, if you think about it, like, Mexican Survival Guy, we get millions of views, right? Mm-hmm. Like it makes sense to be recognized for Mexican survival yeah. guy. Like true, no, dude. Yeah. If, I think if you put us in the top like web series, like we had to be in the top. Dude. No, I would be surprised. We yeah. had to like we get so many views. That's like, true. We had That's millions true. of views on Facebook, millions of views on YouTube. We still yeah. get millions of views on YouTube. Like yeah. we had to be in one of the top viewed web series ever. I guess I never thought of it like that. Yeah, that's kind of insane. Yeah. That is. That's kind I of wanna, insane. I want to. Someone got to do the research. Someone, and let yeah, me know. someone, yeah, someone, someone else do the research. We're not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna do it. But I'm yeah, I'm fairly confident yeah, we're in the top. Yeah, though. I'm fairly uh, confident. I wouldn't man. be surprised. I mean, yeah. I mean, like you said too, like teachers are using our stuff. You know, yeah. Like, wearing gifts. You know, doctors yeah. are using yeah. us. Like, I guess it makes sense. What one time we got an email? I I missed. The, I dropped the ball on this one. But they asked to use um, Mexican Survival Guide in a textbook. They asked us permission to use it in a textbook. Yeah. Dang. But I messed up and I didn't respond. Oh. I, just, I suck at responding to emails and I totally <laughs> yeah. missed that email or I forgot to respond, yeah. something like that. But um, yeah, it's a little disappointing because oh, we could have been in, in like history, like mm-hmm. a textbook. That would yeah. be cool. We could have educated that, the future generations. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been cool. And then just someone just draws over our face. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, so, that's so cool. That's full yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah, there we, you go. Yeah. We used to do that in school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Dang. Wow. could have been in an academic textbook. Wow. But um, I dropped the ball. So oh, sorry about that, guys. Okay, yeah. Another time. We'll just do another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There'll, there'll be more opportunities, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Right? Hopefully. Yeah, you know, probably not. Yeah, no, well, well, yeah, you know. <laughs> well, what did we learn here? Respond to your emails. Respond yes. to your emails. I suck at responding to emails, yeah. man. And I, it's like I just hate responding to emails. Well, you get a lot too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah. like, it's just annoying. Oh See, yeah. Are you guys good at responding I'm, to emails? No. I love responding to emails. You love responding. Yeah. To emails. <laughs> okay, well, it's mostly because it like calms my anxiety of like just having emails. Like I hate. Having them. Like, oh, you don't want to see 10? my inbox. Uh, oh no! Oh 10 million. my god! <laughs> really? No, I'm not even <laughs> exaggerating. I probably have like over ten thousand unread emails. Like I'm not exaggerating. One hundred percent. For me, there's more book deals right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, there and, uh, is. It's just like it's so much yeah. noise, man. Yeah. It, it. The problem is that like ninety percent of them are like just trash. Yeah. They're just like True. irrelevant or just yeah. you spam whatever it is. So you have to shift through all those you know junk mails to get yeah. to the important ones. Yeah. And so the important ones kind of get lost in the sauce. Yeah. And I just get overwhelmed. Like I'll look at my inbox and I'll see like a hundred unread messages that I had to get through that just came in like the past week. And then I'm like, I just get overwhelmed. I'm like, I'll, I'll deal with this later. And I just <laughs> uh, won't open any of them. And then, the, but the problem when I do that, yeah. they pile up more. Yeah, there's so 200 now. Like, yeah, yeah, like 200 and I get more overwhelmed and it's just like a constant cycle until finally it gets to a point where I'm like, okay, I have to sit yeah. down and go yeah. through each one of these. And then I'll go through each one of them, like trash, trash, trash. Yeah. Oh, this one's important. Oh, I was supposed to respond a week ago. Like, oh, oh uh, trash. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, trash it's like now. too late now. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. And that's, that's how I drop the ball yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. And it, yeah. it's, you know, it's bad. I need a personal assistant. Yeah. Javi, please start I going through my emails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm down. No, no, you no, love no, it. I mean, the feeling you. of deleting, just going, like, pressing delete and just seeing them all disappear. 
Oh, so you delete your emails? No, I, I mean, if I don't need them and all that stuff. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. And then responding, I mean, I just, yeah. I mean, sometimes I do templates. So yeah. I just like send it like that and all that stuff. But you, I love that. You just use chat GPT for your emails? Chat, yeah, no, literally. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I hate email etiquette as well. Like, you know how you think, oh, there's yeah. like a proper way to respond to emails? Yeah. I feel like I could just be like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> You're like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like casual, keep it casual. But then yeah. you have to put like, hello, you know, John. Um, yes, that sounds great. Or you're like, I yeah. hope your day is going oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, I'm over here uh, making some videos, but uh, everything is well on our end. Uh, but yeah, in regards to the, the attachment yeah. or whatever, let's yeah. go with this route. Yeah. Uh, let me know your thoughts. All the best. All the best. All the best. <laughs> all the best. Yeah, yeah. So you yep. have to small talk in the oh, email yeah. before you get to the actual email. Yeah, because you, email. You, you can't just be like, Send me the attachment. You know, you have to be like, "Hey, yeah. how's that going? Yeah. Can you send no, me the yeah. attachment, please?" You know. No, yeah. but I, I'm with you. Just no, I I, I, I do agree with that. I don't ask how you're doing. I just say like, "Can I?" I'm just oh, like, you yeah. ask no, I don't. I don't. I just, <laughs> just jump I just to don't, the I don't have time. Yeah, just <laughs> straight to the point. Whatever I need. Cool. Let's go. Oh, maybe yeah. that's what I need to get to because yeah. uh, I feel like sometimes I spend too much time trying to you know have the correct etiquette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's. It's rough. So I used to be a property manager, uh, as you guys have heard many stories of me just venting yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Tell us again. Tell but us like the stories. Every day, we'd, I'd get like a hundred emails, like literally not kidding, because those people interested in apartments and all that stuff. Um, but no, that's what got me like really good at just like deleting emails, being super quick at being responding. I, d I don't care about your feelings. <laughs> I'm just going to respond. This is what you need. Cool. Yeah. Boom. I think Set. as a, a property manager, you probably have to be pretty cold. Huh? No, like, I have to be pretty cold. direct. Super cold, super direct. Yeah. Uh, just yeah, okay. straight to the point because you give people, you show a little, a little bit of weakness to them. They'll take advantage of it. Oh them. yeah. I could imagine. Oh, yeah, so. Would you say that was your favorite job? <laughs> no, it was one of the, the worst job. Oh, wait, let's, let's talk about how many jobs you have had. Because you have had, like, oh, since I've known you, you've had, like, over 20 different jobs. Yes. no, Legit I, jobs, too. Not just, like, side jobs. Like, jobs that you actually sign up for payroll and all <laughs> yeah. that. You are a renaissance man. Right? I, for no reason. <laughs> so, it's funny. I This isn't even, like, set up for this, but I actually have a list of the jobs that I've done. Well, okay, okay. Let's hear <laughs> Let's pull it out. Let's see this list of jobs. I'm going to pull this out Because the jobs that I know that you've done, I know you were a Starbucks barista. Yeah, I, I know you're an actor, of course. Yeah. You're a property manager. You're, um... What, what else? This is a, a waiter, right? You were a waiter. Yeah. You did construction. Construction. Like yeah, what? Construction, <laughs> landscape, stage management, uh, an assistant to an artistic director of a theater. <laughs> what? <laughs> a sound designer, so a freelance sound designer, a yoga instructor, a campaign manager for the Green Party in the city of Irvine. A uh, brand ambassador for a yogurt brand and also a brand ambassador for uh, wines. Wow. Uh, Starbucks bartender. Uh, I was a waiter uh, and a busser for an Italian restaurant. I was an ice, I worked in an ice cream parlor when I was kind of like a pseudo cook slash ice cream, whatever. Um, I've taught Spanish before and property manager and carpenter. Yeah. Wow. What is that? Like, that's over mm -hmm. 20, right? Three, that has four, to be over Your five, resume six, is seven, crazy. Eight, nine, <laughs> Dude, that's 14, very, I 14, think 14, that's very 14, typical. Yeah. 14, 14 jobs. 14, 14 jobs, yeah. 14 jobs in the span of like what? How long? Like I was 10 the, years or what? Yeah, no, I'd say 10 years. That's Probably. a, wow. that's, that's years, a lot yeah. of jobs. Yeah. Hopefully that's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, you, you know how to do a lot of things. Like, yeah. I think that's good. Well, yeah. you're missing one other. Now you're a producer for yeah, us. Yeah, I'm a producer. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll add that after. Yeah. yeah, because now you work, you know, yeah. you work for us like on a behind the scenes, yeah, not just in front yeah. of the camera. So it's very exciting. Yeah, not so much. Well, oh, what, do I say? what can I say about that? <laughs> I mean, you can say everything. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I'm an assistant producer. Yeah. I'm really ex excited for it. I mean, um, I think I've reached that point where I'm like, okay, cool. I want to be behind the camera now. Like, I mean, I've, I'm always in front of the camera, which I mean, I still love being in front of the camera. That's my thing. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, what better way than to do both? I mean, creating and being part of the whole birthing process mm -hmm. of an of a project and an idea, and then seeing it through to the end is just a mm -hmm. great feeling. A great feeling. That's my uh, my favorite part is actually being behind the camera. Yeah. I've always yeah. been a behind the scenes type of guy. I mean, obviously, I've been in our videos kind of by force. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's our <laughs> channel. Force, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. People are like forcing yeah, me to do it. No one's forcing you to do it. No one's forcing you to do it. You hire yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, you're like, it's, your, it's your channel. It's your you channel. can do whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's why I recently, no, yeah. like, I'm not in our videos anymore because yeah. I don't really prefer to be in front of the camera. You know, like, I do it if I had to, but for the most part, I like being the director, writer, whatever it is, just behind the scenes. And uh, just helping the show run behind the scenes. Yeah. I like it more. 
Yeah. But uh, yeah, so, so you so you're transitioning more. Like, do you pr- prefer more behind the scenes, or you're just like, in between right now? I think I like both. I think it like satis- they each satisfy me in a different way, like both creatively. I feel like uh, the producer, like just that feeling of creating a, like a project is a whole different feeling than just like performing. I feel like when you're performing, I mean, it's so much emotions that are happening and all that stuff and it's great and a great feeling. Um, but there, I feel like they feel like they satisfy me in two different ways, My, uh, creatively, where I feel like producing is more of a logistical thing um, just because, I mean, I love Excel sheets. I love organizing <laughs> things and stuff like I've that. I've never heard someone say I, I love Excel sheets. Like, like, <laughs> you said you love Excel sheets and you love replying to emails. I know. Like, I know <laughs> You're like, weird. I know, it's very <laughs> weird. Yeah, but I, lo- I know this is this Chris coming out. But, but, yeah, <laughs> I like, um, but yeah, no, I think they both satisfy too. Uh, I guess one is more my, what do they say? Your math brain or whatever. Uh, Not even, I hate math. But <laughs> oh, uh, my, I guess, more logistical side and the other one's my creative yeah. side that it hits. So, yeah. so Javi, what what are you into like outside of work? Outside of work, yeah. Like what, what is what does Javi do for fun? What does Javi do Oof. after <laughs> after a long day of filming or producing or one of your yeah. thirty jobs? One of my thirty. When you get home, <laughs> what do you do? Um. Well, I, I'm a little bit of a nerd. I like I like watching anime. Um, oh, okay. I love anime. Um, I also dance. So whenever I mean, I haven't danced in the like, past couple of months, but you know, but um, but I'm a dancer as well, and well, in training. Um, and it's, I dance. I like uh, watching anime. I think uh, watching anime helps me out a lot, and playing video games just because then I disconnect from like watching film because I feel like mm. when I watch a film, mm. it's like I'm breaking it down, seeing it from the aspect of an actor or how is it produced, how is it created, who are the mm-hmm. people behind it, and I just like over break it down. Um, whereas like an anime, I mean, I could break down the voice acting, but it's just like, like, oh, this is just entertainment for the sake of entertainment for me, at least. Um, video games. I love cooking. I love cooking. Um, you've tried some of my cooking. Oh yeah. I love good. Yeah. Um, so you get, yeah. You get, I'm telling you, yeah. Yeah, you're a man of many trades. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, yeah. You thanks. can do everything. No, literally, literally, thanks, yeah. there's thanks. Not, I don't think there's a thing that you cannot do. And if you can't do it, you'll figure it out. Thanks. No, yeah. I try. I try. <laughs> I try. Quick question. Yes. Are you good at plumbing? <laughs> I have a toilet. <laughs> I have a job for you. <laughs> I actually used to be. No, 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 I can't do stuff like that. I can't do plumbing. I probably actually, I can, probably, <laughs> I, can, I can figure it out. I mean, I think when in doubt, yeah. YouTube video, and then I just, I figured yeah. it out. Yeah. yeah. Were, were you always like that growing up? Like you, like anything you could do, like you'll figure it out. I think, I don't know. I don't think I was. You figured I think, it out as I an think, adult? No, yeah, I think I figured it out as an adult. I think it's just because, like, maybe because I wanted acting so bad that I'm like, ah, let me do this side job just to get money. And then I just happen to be good at it and all that <laughs> stuff. No, actually, I, I lied. I, I think I, when I was little, I used to love doing, like, little random things here and there. I remember when I was little, I used to love writing little books. So I would get paper, draw on them. I loved drawing. And then I'd write a little story and, like, staple it and make a little book. and be like, oh, I'm going to be an author one day because I wanted to be an mm-hmm. author at one point. Um, but yeah, no, I think I just always loved trying a little bit of everything. Wow. That, that yeah. makes a lot of sense if you, cause usually how you are as an adult is like reflective of how you were as a kid. Yeah. So that, that makes a lot of sense. So yeah. if you're doing random things as a kid, yeah. it makes sense why you're doing a lot of random yeah, things as, 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 as an adult. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean. Wait, so out of your 14 or 15 so <laughs> jobs, which one has been your favorite? So far? Yeah. I mean, oh, Oh my god, that's a good question. You had a lot of good jobs. I yeah. mean, besides besides acting, yeah, um, and besides producing, um, oh my god, or acting and producing your favorite jobs. I don't say they're, they're my favorite. Okay, jobs. so let's say yeah, besides yeah. that, yeah, besides yeah, those are, those are, those two are my favorite jobs. Um, besides that, I mean, Starbucks has interesting stories. Okay, but like, I mean, it wasn't my favorite, but I think it would prop. I think the people that I met. Like just being a, star- a barista was like the funniest thing ever. I mean, people were like, people were rude as as <laughs> rude as heck um, to the baristas and all that stuff, and just like dealing with those people. You just it was so many people, um, and also like when I was a barista, it was like during the beginning of the pandemic, so it was just mm. like okay, like I remember being wrapped up and all that mm. stuff, and it was just like scary time, and then <laughs> still making a freaking coffee for all these people <laughs> that were like mad as heck, and just like when you'd get like. Um, a rush of like 16 people, like 16 drinks. Like, cause then there'd be people that'd be like, Oh, I want to order 16 frappuccinos <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. And we'd have to make it. And just like, yeah. the, the, the adrenaline of just making the drinks and yeah. all that stuff was a lot of fun. Um, also I think, 
I would say probably a waiter because I loved seeing how the kitchen worked because I love because I, mean, mm-hmm. I love cooking and all that stuff. So just being in that atmosphere of like how a restaurant works was really cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got chewed out by chefs because I mean, I would mess up. <laughs> I wouldn't pay attention. I'd be like, oh, let me just take this out of order of like what the orders came in. Uh-huh. And I just remember uh, once a chef was just like you beep, beep. Beep, and just like went in on me just like you don't freaking take them like this you take them like this but then like even though he like <laughs> tore me a new one i was like this is how hell's kitchen is this, wow. if i was with gordon ramsay yeah. this is how it would be yeah. <laughs> i am a chef in my mind like yeah. like i wasn't even a chef yeah. but i was just like feeling the story were, like, were yeah. you imagining that guy as gordon ramsay yes, <laughs> literally i was just like i'm being yelled by a chef who can say that like <laughs> i can say you're, that you're all smiling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yes. you took it as a positive yeah, i like, took <laughs> it as a positive i was like this could be gordon ramsay yeah. right so yeah and i would say those two jobs just yeah, so cooking and making drinks. Besides, I guess, producing and acting, do you have like another dream job? On oh, a chef. Uh, so. I mean, if in another world, if I like, if I what, if for some reason I, I mean, there's no other possibility that I wouldn't do acting or producing. Um, but like in another life, I think cooking would have been my thing. Uh, being a chef, yeah. Okay, so you would be Gordon Ramsay. I would be Gordon Ramsay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to yell? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, yeah, I want to. You want to do yeah. the burrito? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I would. Okay. Lo- I love. It. I think just the. the the creativity that goes into food and like the yeah. almost the chemistry that goes behind it. I mean, it's, it's science. It's, it's, I mean, it's insane. Yeah. It's an art for sure. Yeah. And, and then like, it, it, yeah. And so it could be an art and like some people like where they just do like the simplest things where like they crack a freaking egg and just splatter it and it looks beautiful, like <laughs> uh-huh. a contemporary piece. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I think in another world, I mean, another lifetime, I would have been. Uh, a chef. I feel like you're still gonna do it. I don't think. No, you're saying another world, like, <laughs> it's it's a, a cooking channel. Yeah, <laughs> your list is gonna keep on growing. I know, keep, keep on growing. You're, you're, yeah, you're already at 15 jobs. Know. And you're, you know, you're still young. <laughs> By the time you're like 40, 50, I'm yeah, sure you're imagine. gonna have like 30, 40 jobs. Dang, yeah. So that's, I mean, that's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. Is there? Do you have like a dish you cook right now that's you're like this is my go to. My go-to, like, like you could impress anyone. Oh, my ceviche! <laughs> like, oh, ceviche! My ceviche, I can Ooh, make a good ceviche. I want to try it. My ceviche is really good. Make me I, some. Yeah, no, I'm making it. <laughs> I'll some. rank it right now. That or now <laughs> or an agua chile. Okay, agua chile. Okay. Yeah, but I would say more ceviche just because then, not. Um, I feel like it's more like people would eat that more. Mm-hmm. Is your family chile. from Sinaloa or no. why? Why ceviche and like agua chile? So I mean, I for some reason growing up, I just always loved seafood. Uh, one of my tias who got married into the family, um, she's from Nayarit, and then like they're known for their seafood and all that stuff. They're like a beach uh, city or town or whatever, where where she's from. Um, but no, like seafood mariscos, like I I can, mm, I love mariscos. Yeah, so they're the best. They're the, they're the best. I mean, sushi. Give me mm-hmm. any any. I, I could live off of. Uh, off of seafood for the rest of my life and be happy. I won't do it, but <laughs> but but I but I mean I mean I love it. But so yeah, it's expensive though. You you make yeah. ceviche. I I could I could make a mean cereal. Can make, <laughs> yeah, mean. Yeah, you make a mean cereal. Cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> I got you, bro. With some I, almond milk. I can't cook for my life, man. <laughs> Wait, but you could grill. Yeah, everyone could grill. You just throw it on the grill. <laughs> Honestly, not everyone. Honestly, not everyone. Yeah, I mean, grill is easy. I, I feel like that's like basic. It's like making yeah. cereal, dude. I don't, there you go. <laughs> I don't think it's something you should be like, you know, rave about. Like, yeah, I could cook. I mean, I, mean, I could uh, grill. I mean, you could turn on the propane. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I, I can can't teach you, dude. You'll you learn in two seconds. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Just like, but yeah. All right. So, so hobby. What's next for you, though? What's uh, what? What is the next like five, ten years look for you? Oh my God, that's a deep question. Jesus. Um, well, what are you? What are you striving towards? Oh my God. Um, that's a question. For a little bit, a little bit emotional. Like, what, are, what are your dreams? <laughs> yeah. My dreams. I mean, I guess to continue acting and and producing. I think. I'm uh, oh, sorry. Uh, um, acting and producing, um, and just you know, doing projects that I wanna wanna keep doing. I mean, like just being creative and making a living off of that. I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it'd be nice to do like uh, like bigger budget projects, like just movies or like movies. Yeah, movies, television. Mm-hmm. I mean, ideally, my my ultimate goal is to be an EGOT, which is to have an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, putting it out in the universe. I don't even know what a Tony is. A Tony? Oh, it's like theater. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Theater. Okay, <laughs> for theater. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I plan to go back to theater eventually. Um, I feel like that's like a good thing. Like when uh-huh. when you have money, it's a good thing to do because you don't really make money off of theater. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I think eventually like leading into that path of an emmy grammy oscar tony how i'm gonna get there don't know yeah. but you'll figure yeah. it out i'll, yeah, figure, yeah. It, I'll figure it out if there's yeah. anything i know about you it's that you'll figure it out thank man, you for sure 
Thank you. That's pretty cool, man. Is there like yeah. a type of movie or like role that that's like your dream role? Like, do you want to be like a mafia guy or some Jurassic Park dude? Like, um, I don't know about a specific role. But I know Wait, I want. Yeah, he wants to be a pumpkin. Oh, yeah, I want to oh, be a pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I want to be a pumpkin and a dragon. Don't you remember? <laughs> yeah. I told That's you. That's his dream job. So I literally imagine if I if I became if I was a pumpkin. That would, would go uh, be a full circle. That man. would be a full circle. You I got, hope you I gotta retire it. at that point. I, I hope so. I mean, I hope at one I do voiceover for like an animated uh, like a pumpkin. I would be happy. I, I need that to happen. Um, we can make that. Happen. We could, yeah, there yeah, you we, go. We, 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 we can make Oh my god, Javi's little Javi's dreams would be would come true. Um, but I would say uh, I would want to be in a Guillermo del Toro uh, film. Mm. Ooh, so okay. I, I like his style because it's like. A lot of, um, I mean, he's Mexican, so um, it has that that part of our culture where it's like dark, but finding the beauty in, in like darkness. So like the orphanage, th those type of movies, Shape of Water. I think mm -hmm. whatever he does, I feel like I would love to be in. So Dang. yeah, I could see that. Yeah, yeah I could thanks. totally see you being on the big screen. Thanks. I'm looking forward so. to that, man. Yeah, thanks. Can you invite us to the red carpet? Yes. No. Yeah. That? No. I already. I promised that I. I'd keep you in the speech. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, when I get an award, <laughs> be in the I speech. did say that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, no, I said yeah. I mean, because I mean, I think uh, Mexican Survival Guide was the thing that made got me into film, and I mean. It's, it's, I don't think, uh, I mean, maybe I'm being whatever, but like, I think not many actors have the opportunity to be filming. Like when we did once a week, like mm -hmm. I always had my creativity filled. Um, so I think, I mean, it's a special Mexican mm -hmm. survival guide genuinely has a special place in my heart. I mean, there's times That's where awesome. it's like, yeah, I know it's hard, but like, no, it has a special place in my heart and mm -hmm. Of course, it'd be in my speech. <laughs> I'm so glad to be a special part of your heart, dude. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Man. No, thank you guys. Well, so, <laughs> thank you for joining us on this yeah. Mexican survival god journey. Not that yeah. it's over. Yeah, it's not. But, yeah. Um, you know, this we filmed a lot of episodes, and uh, you could have stopped filming with us a long time ago if you yeah. wanted to. But you years ago, yeah, you stayed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, <laughs> literally years ago. But you stayed. You stayed with the ride, man. Yeah. I'm glad you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I really cannot imagine anyone else being Chris. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. It's just like I, you, you're like the epitome of Chris. Like yeah, you're the perfect you're, Chris. You're the essence. I know. You're the essence of Chris. Well, after we finally decide to switch the roles right now. <laughs> well, we did for the orb. Remember? Oh my god, oh, yeah. we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, I did pretty was good. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the yeah. orb is kind of like a sneak peek of how like Mexican survival guy was originally oh, yeah, supposed true, to be. That's true. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, another world. Yeah, cool. So we filmed a lot of Mexican survival guide episodes. Is there one that we haven't done that you're like, we need to do it? Um, a fun one, which I mean, I don't know how we would do. Would it be mariachi? We've always we've always we've talked, talked about, about it. that. Yeah, man. it's logistically just, it, it makes no sense. Yeah, and I feel like it would be the most difficult thing getting mariachi and all that. Yeah, stuff. yeah. I, that's a, I think that's the thing. The reason why I've kind of like yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's just because logistically yeah. it just sounds hard. You know, it yeah. sounds. Because like, because you have to direct the whole mariachi. Mariachi mm -hmm. is like it's like minimum like five six people, it's, it's right? A yeah. Couple, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would have to direct them on top of directing our talent, and it's just like, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, and it also the cost, you know. Yeah, right? mariachis aren't cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, we definitely got to do that. I agree. That's definitely an episode yeah. we got to do one day. One day. No, yeah, we will get there. Yeah, but <laughs> so I mean, seven years, seven years, right? We seven, seven years down, six, yeah. seven, yeah, seven, yeah, six, seven years down. Uh, let's go. Okay, eighteen let's, more to go. Yeah, let's keep it going. Let's let's go. Keep it going. You know what's sure. funny? They always say like when you, <laughs> when there's a friendship of seven years, uh, you're stuck with that person for life. So I'm sorry Damn. to break it to you Damn. guys. That's yeah, you're that's very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> very unfortunate. But Thanks yeah, for ruining my night. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're stuck with each other now. <laughs> bold of you to uh, assume, assume that we're yeah, friends. I'm exactly. <laughs> <laughs> very bold of you. Colleague, yeah. <laughs> colleague. Uh, exactly. I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. She's not my <laughs> friend. You're my sister's friend. You're, you're my sister. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. I think you're gonna stop at you're my sister. I was gonna be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister. Well, Javi, I think yeah. uh, I think that's a good note for us to finish off oh, on. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on our podcast, oh, our new podcast. You. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank, thank you, thank you. But thank um, you. is there any last thing you want to tell the fans? Um, have fun. Um, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, keep uh, subscribe <laughs> and uh, follow Javi. And, yeah, and, and oh, oh, and follow me uh, at Instagram at Hav Casanova. Uh, I was going to say dot .com, but at Hav Casanova, <laughs> X-A-V-C-A-S-A-N-O-V-A. -A -A. But yeah. And uh, stay tuned for more Mexican survival guides. Yes, sir. Peace out. <laughs>